another video we got here from Board of Engineering. Uh, today we're going to review this scooter. Let's go. Always remember safety first. My gloves, my, and my helmet. Well, in some countries you don't need to wear uh, helmet on scooters or even bicycles. So today I'm not going to do an unboxing or uh, read the specs for you. Um, I've been using this for past uh, two months, so it'll be a real hands-on review of uh, the pros and cons and advantages of this scooter, and also compare it with the um, electric bicycle as well. So, okay, let's come together closer. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at this scooter. I know you've seen the photos online. Um, I briefly tell you the specs. Um, so it has a a brushless uh, DC motor here. You can get closer. Um, in the front wheel, 250 watt there. All the batteries are laid underneath here. Uh, LG batteries, and uh, it has a disc brake on the back. As you can see. Can you get closer? So uh, you can adjust actually disc brake from the. Uh, there is one screw here, so you can adjust the pads like a normal uh, bicycle. There's this um, um, real light, uh, and that's um, if you brake actually, it has a sensor on brake, it will flash. That's handy. Okay, so the construction wise is pretty solid. Uh, it's almost um, the weight is about 13 kilogram. So mostly it's uh, like metal, some bits and pieces of it aluminium. Um, and the, the welding and joints are done very well. The quality is great. However, there are some uh, things that you need to be aware. So as you can see, uh, the the tires are pretty small compared to a normal bicycle, and um, because of that, you will feel all the um, bumps and the uh, unevenness surface uh, as you ride, and since there is no shock absorbers on the front or on the back uh, that's uh, basically shocks or um, in the movement directly we transfer to the handlebar and you feel it here i mean it's even like, like let's even look at this thing not, it looks flat but when you go over it with this you feel it um, and what will happen and actually the problem i had is the handle will become loose Let's look at this closer. All right, so when this comes right out of the box, everything is, you don't need to uh, build it. The only thing is you need to put together is the handlebar. So, and it comes with this um, Allen key and four of these screws. The problem with these, um, it's, I don't know if they're aluminum or soft metal, um, and I think it's M4 or M3, it's very small, so you don't have the, and this one is soft as well, it's very crappy Allen key. Um, when he tries to secure the handlebar with these little screws, and as you go and you use it after a week or two, um, the handle will be become loose and it's going to start rattling. And that's a, like a major problem. Um, so what I did, I used, I took these screws out, put them in rubbish bin, and I got these um, steel uh, screws there. I tapped it because they were uh, one size bigger than that. And now they are very steady, they're not moving it at all, so as, as if these two are one. I, however, before it was like rattling up here. And um, so I've been using it for past um, two, two, three months, uh, going to work almost every day. The range is advertised uh, to be like 20, 25 kilometer. I would say you can do 15 kilometer, and if you and if it's flat, you probably can push it to 20 kilometer range. Now the speed, uh, you can easily do 25. However, that really depends on the uh, how steep is the road and also how heavy you are. This thing is advertised. To, I mean, some some places that advertise 75 kilograms is the weight limit. Some places I've seen advertise 100 kilograms. I don't think 100 is a good number. 
there because with my bags and um, everything, I'm gonna ride this. I weigh about 75 kilos, and that when it gets a bit of uphill, sometimes it struggles, and I need to like start uh, pushing it. Um, so something be, you need to be aware: if you weigh, I would say, more than 90 kilogram, kilogram you probably need to consider other options. Um, and in terms of uh, using it, you can have, have a, look at, a closer look at the handlebar. The whole thing only has one button. And as you can see, it's, it's turning. The button itself, since there's only one button and it operates everything, I would expect it to be a better quality button. Like it's very cheap. Like I don't get that feeling of, you know, the push, you know. So that's one negative point. I don't know after how long this will fail. And basically the way it works, off, you turn it on, press once, turns on, four LEDs shows you the battery indicator, 100 to 25 percent. And if you double press it, this will become green and that means in economic mode and that means less current to the um, um, motor and your top speed will be around 15 18 kilometer and when you're in economic mode you won't be able to climb any steep uh, roads something to consider double press again the light is off your full uh, uh, normal mode basically it has a front nice LED on the front and it's good that it's integrated you know you, you don't um, sometimes with the, with the bicycle the problem is put, people put uh, front and rear lights they get stolen this is already integrated and you don't need to worry about it and the way you turn it on press once on press another time off and on like just once and double tap was uh, going to economic mode now there is another problem with this and I think it's common with some of the folding bicycle there is a joint here and the way it works you push this inside put this down and you fold it obviously and you can carry it about 13 kilogram 13 kilogram it's not light it's not heavy either now the problem as you can see um, there's like a uh, edge here that this thing will click in it now there is what I mentioned about the small tire and no shock absorber so everything will be transferred the shocks through this and this all the small shakes and big shakes start basically shaking this and these two metal are grinding on top of each other and after a couple of weeks I noticed that this will be coming loose and I need to um, keep adjusting um, it from there's a screw there and uh, the washer there as well adjusting so it becomes tighter and then I reached a point I couldn't adjust it it was the limit then I put this silicon tape there so the metals are not on metal basically every I would say two three weeks I remove the uh, I replace the silicon that fixed the problem so back and now it's quite uh, tight so the two major problems with this I would say the joint there and the handlebar on top this can be fixed but this joint is something that you need to maintain it the braking power is quite strong I mean as you could see from I mean, the uh, start of this video um, it has a bit of power to it. You can come to stop uh, quite quickly, and that's very important with these uh, um, scooters. And the turning radius is very small. It's uh, uh, restricted, as you can see, which is good. Again, stability helps the stability. Uh, other thing I want to mention is about safety and riding a scooter it's I would say it's much more dangerous or uh, 
riskier than a bicycle because you don't have that much control compared to a bicycle. So I usually wear my uh, helmet and my gloves, it's a bit of leather. The other day um, I felt pretty bad <laughs> and the reason I felt because I always try to uh, maneuver over uh, you know, all the bumps and uh, any unevenness in the road. And then I just went over some leaves and those leaves were kind of slippery and because the tires are small, basically just skids, it was gone. And just you can have a look at close to my gloves, if I didn't have these gloves, that would happen to my skin. So I would recommend wearing gloves and a helmet. Uh, and the charging, uh, the charging port is here. The red um, cap, basically. It would take four hours to charge it. And another point, I think, is improvement that you can do, uh, Xiaomi, um, is to uh, relocate this port because at the moment, where is it located? If you can <coughs> have a look there. Uh, all the dirt or the uh, water, whatever it will uh, be uh, uh, spread, spread on uh, very close to this area. I mean, obviously there is this cap, but this cap, I, I don't trust it that much. When I open it, I can even see all the dust. And so it's, this is something you need to be aware, always make sure close it. And if you look, read the manual, um, by the way, the manual that comes with this is in Chinese, so you need to find the one that online is English. If you read the manual, it says don't write it in rain, and I'm not writing in rain. Um, so I think it's probably an IP rated, but because of the stability and a small tire, the chance of you skidding and falling is very high. Um, the tires are inflatable. I did it to 50 psi. I probably need to deflate it a bit, which would help me to observe some of those shocks on these tires. Um, they've been all right and look solid. Um, and now, if I compare this with a bicycle, electric bicycle, it really depends what you want to do with this. Now, let's have a look at this. This one is pretty small and light, uh, and if you compare this with a bicycle, the bicycle, electric bicycle would weigh about 40 kilograms. Um, however, the range of electric bicycle, because they call it the assist mode, you can still paddle, and it's much easier to maneuver. You've got the gears and so forth. Range of electric bicycle is anywhere from 40 to 80 kilometers. This one is 20 something to consider. Power is much lighter and if you take it to the train or in the city it's much easier to you know uh, just pick it up and go through you know, the train and so forth. Um, so that's the difference between the electric bicycle and this. And what else? Uh, this is the jack. It's pretty sturdy and it's easy you know to open and close. And so what happened to me, company Oshiami, uh, actually purchased Segway, that the company, the brand Segway. And they discontinued this, um, this uh, scooter and they're making another, um, it looks like a Segway because they're using all the, you know, the, uh, the, all the control uh, methodology and design and so forth. And they, this is going to discontinue it. Um, so Xiaomi um, is doing it a lot with many of the home appliances and electronic devices. And the other one, and the other Xiaomi uh, scooter, you might call it, it's a bit difficult to use because you need to learn it, the stability thing, and um, I didn't want to buy that. And this one, the price of that, in China when it was released it was about I think 400 US 
However, if you want to buy to other countries uh, in US or Australia or other countries, I would say it would cost you about uh, seven to eight hundred dollars. Um, now, also this thing comes with an app. Um, let's have a look at it. So it's called Ninebot, and by Segway, since Yami purchased this. Uh, as, as you could see, automatically connects through Bluetooth because my scooter is on. And what I can see, the total I traveled with this 130 kilometer. You see the temperature, and also you can do firmware updates. And what there are a few amazing uh, options you have with this. And these are this the damn thing has a cruise control. So if you can't pause it, if you look at this accelerator, if you hold it while you're riding for I think three or four seconds, this thing will go into cruise control and you just, you just let it go and it goes. It's amazing. And then there is another uh, thing, uh, it's called um, uh, the energy recovery mode and you can actually adjust the energy recovery. It has weak, medium and strong. That means if you're downhill, this thing will charge the batteries. This is awesome. Um, so if you put it in strong, you feel it actually. When you go downhill, uh, there is some sort of load or something is holding it back because the motor is trying to charge the batteries. Uh, that, that's handy. And also there is a community with the app that you can see all the people around you who ride scooters, not just, not just this one, other brands and uh, scooters, they can still log into this uh, app. Um, so, I highly recommend it. This is the white version, it comes in black. I didn't clean it so you can see. Um, I mean, it gets dirty, obviously, uh, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's overall, I'm happy with it, and I highly recommend it I mean, if you come here to work and there is an option that you can take a bicycle or an electric scooter or so forth uh, I highly recommend it alright if there is any question or comments please make sure you pop it down below and um, let me know what are your thoughts